In December 2022, Atlas Air took delivery of the final Boeing 747 ever manufactured. The aircraft rolled off the production line in Everett, Washington, marking the end of a 55-year manufacturing run that began in 1968. What was once the world's most recognizable commercial aircraft now faces a stark reality. Airlines have retired their 747 fleets at unprecedented rates, and the few remaining passenger examples operate on limited routes with uncertain futures. The Boeing 747 transformed global aviation when it entered service with Pan American World Airways on January 22, 1970. The aircraft's distinctive hump and four-engine configuration made it instantly recognizable. At its peak in the 1990s, over 400 passenger 747s operated simultaneously across the world's major airlines. By 2025, fewer than 20 passenger variants remain in commercial service. British Airways, once the largest 747 operator outside the United States, retired its entire fleet of 31 aircraft in October 2024. The airline cited rising maintenance costs and fuel inefficiency as primary factors. Each 747-400 burned approximately 12 litres of fuel per kilometre compared to 8 litres for the Boeing 787 Dreamliner on equivalent routes. Qantas operated its final 747 passenger flight on July 22, 2020, ending a 49-year relationship with the type. The Australian carrier had maintained a fleet of 65 different 747s throughout its operating history. Lufthansa followed in 2021 retiring all passenger 747s except for a small number of 747-8 variants used exclusively on high-demand routes between Frankfurt and select Asian destinations. Delta Airlines flew its last 747 passenger service in December 2017, transitioning entirely to more fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft. The airline reported operational cost savings of approximately 18% per seat mile when comparing 747 operations to Boeing 777-200LR flights on Trans-Pacific routes. Korean Air currently operates the largest passenger 747 fleet in 2025, with 10 747-8 aircraft remaining in service. The airline announced in March 2024 that these aircraft would be phased out by 2027, replaced by Boeing 787-9 and Airbus A350-900 models. Air China maintains eight 747-8 aircraft, primarily deployed on Beijing to North American routes. Both carriers have stated that maintenance costs for the 747 have increased by over 30% since 2020 due to part scarcity and specialized labor requirements. The cargo sector tells a different but equally challenging story. UPS Airlines operates 52 747 freighters as of January 2025, making it the largest 747 operator globally. The company stated in its 2024 annual report that 747 freighters provide unmatched volumetric capacity carrying up to 140 tons of cargo over distances exceeding 7,005 percent, 100 kilometers. However, UPS has not ordered new 747 freighters since 2017 and has instead focused procurement on Boeing 767-300F and 777-200F aircraft. Atlas Air, which operates 49, 747 freighters announced in October 2024 that it would replace 15 older 747-400F models with Boeing 777-200 LRF conversions by 2028. Cargolux Airlines, based in Luxembourg, operates 14 747 freighters and remains one of the type's strongest advocates. The airline's president and CEO, Richard Forson, stated in February 2024, quote, The 747 freighter continues to be the backbone of our long-haul operations, particularly on routes where volumetric capacity is critical. Despite this commitment, Cargo Lux has placed orders for six 777-8F aircraft scheduled for delivery starting in 2027. The secondary market for used 747s has collapsed. In 2019, a 20-year-old 747-400 passenger aircraft sold for approximately $30 million. By 2024, comparable airframes struggled to attract buyers at $8 million. Several aircraft have been purchased solely for parts with engines and landing gear systems harvested to support remaining operational fleets. 
The Victorville Storage Facility in California houses over 40 retired 747s awaiting either parts reclamation or scrapping. The Pinal Air Park in Arizona contains an additional 35 airframes, many of which have been classified as permanent fixtures unlikely to return to service. Maintenance costs represent a critical challenge for remaining 747 operators. The aircraft requires four-engine maintenance cycles compared to two for modern twin-engine jets. Labor costs for heavy maintenance checks on a 747-400 average $4.8 million per aircraft compared to $2.9 million for a Boeing 787-9. Parts availability has become increasingly problematic as the supply chain contracts. Lead times for certain 747-specific components have extended from weeks to months, forcing operators to maintain larger parts inventories. This increases working capital requirements and storage costs. Fuel efficiency remains the most significant economic factor driving 747 retirements. On a New York to London route, a 747-400 consumes approximately 150,000 litres of fuel, carrying 400 passengers. A Boeing 787-9 uses 85,000 litres, carrying 296 passengers on the same route. When calculated per passenger, the 787 delivers 40% better fuel efficiency. At 2024, jet fuel prices averaging $3.10 per gallon. This translates to operational savings exceeding $50,000 per round-trip flight. Noise regulations have also contributed to the 747's decline. The aircraft fails to meet Stage 5 noise standards implemented by the International Civil Aviation Organization in 2018. Several European airports, including Amsterdam, Schiphol and Frankfurt, have imposed higher landing fees on four-engine aircraft specifically targeting the 747. These surcharges range from $2,000 to $5,000 per landing, making the aircraft economically disadvantageous on already tight margin routes. The Boeing 747 program produced 1,574 aircraft across all variants between 1968 and 2023. The 747-400 variant accounted for 694 deliveries, making it the most produced version. The final variant, the 747-8, saw only 155 aircraft delivered with just 51 passenger models sold. Boeing ceased taking new 747 orders in 2020 after years of declining sales. The program's official termination was announced in July 2020, though production continued until 2023 to fulfill remaining contracts. Aviation historians note the 747's technical achievements remain impressive despite its commercial obsolescence. The aircraft's upper deck provided airlines with unprecedented flexibility in cabin configurations. Its range of 13,450 km on the 747-400ER variant enabled non-stop service on previously impossible routes. The 747's introduction lowered transoceanic airfares by an estimated 60% between 1970 and 1980, democratizing international air travel. Museums and aviation preservation groups have acquired select 747 airframes for static display. The Museum of Flight in Seattle houses the first 747 prototype, registered as N7470, Delta Flight Museum in Atlanta displays the airline's first 747 ship, 6301. These preserved aircraft serve as reminders of an era when four-engine jets dominated long-haul aviation. The remaining operational 747s face an uncertain timeline, with most analysts predicting complete retirement from passenger service by 2030. The cargo market may sustain small numbers beyond that date, but economic pressures continue mounting. What remains is a diminishing fleet of aircraft whose operational reality no longer aligns with modern aviation economics. The story of the Boeing 747 represents more than just the end of an aircraft model. It marks the closing chapter of an entire philosophy in aviation design. For decades, the industry believed that bigger was always better and that passengers would continue filling massive aircraft on major routes between global cities. The 747 embodied this vision perfectly with its ability to carry over 400 people across oceans in a single flight. But the world changed in ways Boeing's engineers could not have predicted back in the 1960s. 
airlines discovered that passengers actually preferred more frequent flights on smaller aircraft rather than waiting for one massive plane to depart. Business travelers wanted flexibility and convenience over sheer capacity. Meanwhile, fuel prices climbed steadily, making those four thirsty engines increasingly expensive to operate every single day. The 747's retirement teaches us that even the most revolutionary innovations eventually become outdated. What seemed impossible to replace three decades ago now appears almost quaint compared to modern twin-engine jets that fly just as far while burning significantly less fuel. The aviation industry moves forward relentlessly, and nostalgia cannot overcome basic economics. The Queen of the Skies had her moment in history, and that moment has simply passed.